It is just butter smooth. Easy editing in DaVinci Resolve 15. Okay, so let's dive right into DaVinci Resolve 15 and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a clip into our timeline. So there's a couple ways we can do that, but I'll just show you a very simple way, which is to simply take a clip and double click on it. And then we can, we can mark in and we can mark out and we can drag and drop it down like so. Or another thing we can do too is we can press F9 on the keyboard and then it appears down here. Now, if we wanted to make another edit here or put another clip in, we could double click up here on another clip and then we can mark in and we mark out and then we press F9 and then it just appears in sequence with that other one. Okay, so now let me go over the timeline really quick. So to zoom in on the timeline, we're gonna press Control plus, or if you're on a Mac, it's Command plus. Okay, so we have our media down here, we have our waveform audio here, and then we have a thumbnail preview here of our clip. Now you'll notice that if you take the timeline, you kind of scrub through it, the footage, the footage isn't very smooth. It's kind of, it's just kind of jumpy and we don't really like that too much. We want to, we want to make it really smooth to where when we scrub through, it's very fluid and it's very easy to use. And so how do we do that? Well, it's actually very simple. So we'll go back to our project window up here and we'll select all of these clips and then we'll right click and then we will click generate optimized media. So we'll go ahead and let that run for a minute. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Okay, now that we have our proxy media created or optimized media created, let's try to scrub through the timeline now and see how smooth it is. So as you can see there, that is just a lot more smooth. I mean, it is just butter smooth. Now it would be the same if we just tried to scrub through some of these here. I mean, even when you're just scrubbing on these little thumbnails here, just look how smooth that is. I mean, that is just amazing. Like we can make our thumbnails a little bit bigger here and just scrub through them like that. And that is awesome, super smooth. So if we double click on that, we can even scrub here. And when we play it back, it's also very smooth. Okay, so how do we make an edit here? Let's come down to our timeline and select it. And now what we'll do is we'll press control forward slash, or if you're on a Mac, it'll be command forward slash. And we do that, it just made an edit here. Okay, so the next question is how do we, how do we trim an edit? So it's very simple. So let's press Control plus, or if you're on a Mac, Command plus to zoom in some more. And you'll notice here we have like these little handlebars here. So what we can do is we can just take this handlebar here and we can move it up. And as you can see here, our edit moves up. And then we can do the same with this one here as well. And then now we notice here, if we do kind of modify the cut here, there's a big gap, we don't want that. So if we just go shift and backspace, boom, it moves it right back. Okay, so let's zoom out using control minus or command minus. Okay, so there's our timeline. Now, how do we access all of the properties of the clip? Like how do we change the scale or how do we, you know, animate keyframes? Uh, I'll go over that briefly in this tutorial. I don't want to get too in-depth into that just because I want to just kind of get you guys just up and running. Let's say we want to generate a text here. So what we can do is we can drag this text and drop it here. And so it's on our timeline now. We click on it and it's just a completely separate clip. And we right up here we can type in our title. So we can say, DaVinci is awesome. And then it appears right here and we can come down and change our font. Okay, so that's how we change the font up here. Now, let's go ahead and play our clip. So press the space bar to play. Oh my God. Action. 
So in order to control the audio, it's pretty simple. There's a lot of different things you can do. So if you wanna add an audio transition between clips, you can come down here and where those two little arrows meet right there, you can click on that and then you right click and you can choose how long you want the transition to be. So if you want it to be like a 12 frame crossfade, you just click that. And if you zoom in, okay, so I did it with the video too. We might want to unlink, so right click, link, right click, unlink, okay. Okay, so we come back down here and we can adjust this like so. So we can make it whatever length we want. Just for a nice smooth little transition there. Okay, so there we go. Okay. So if we want to adjust, you know, a fade in or fade out of video or audio, it's really simple. So if you just click on the clip here, you can fade in. So if we just click that little marker there and we hold down our mouse, we can drag it over. And then we have a little fade in there. And then we can do the same over here as well for fade out. And we can fade in our audio. Like so. Okay, now if we want to adjust some keyframes on the audio here, uh, we can just go up to our project inspector here and you see these little tiny keyframes, you can just click a little keyframe there in the corner and then it appears right there and we can move, move our timeline over. And there's another one there. And then we can adjust this down, we can adjust this up depending on what we want to do. Okay, so there we go, we got our, our little clip here. Obviously this isn't really edited the right way, but I'm just showing this as an example, just so you can get familiar with it. So as we scrub through our clip or as we play our clip, we have our audio bars here and we can adjust these like so. And so we can turn this down if we want to turn down the volume. And this is audio one, so that's that track there. Now if you had other tracks below it, like audio two, audio three, like if you had a music track or a sound effects track, you could easily just go into this little project window pane here and adjust all those things here very simply just in the editing window here. Okay, so that is essentially the basics of how to get started editing something in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so as I continue to use DaVinci Resolve 15, I'm going to post more tutorials on different things in the project. So I'll do one tutorial on how to use Fusion, another tutorial on how to use Fairlight or how to use the color corrector inside of it, or how to develop the best post-production workflow within DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna do tutorials on all these things in the future. And so be sure to like and subscribe to my channel so that way you can see more of these tutorials that I'll post on DaVinci Resolve coming up in the future.